Hi there, prairie plant girl here. Oh, I'm tucked back in the little corner of my yard here and my garlic is growing here. So, I saw, saw it, I think a month ago when I was out here talking to you and said, I'm gonna need to harvest this soon. It's starting to throw up scapes, and, you know, get ready for harvest, but it wasn't quite there yet. And then I kind of forgot about it. And so now you can't even see it back in here. Vines are crawling over it, but it threw up scapes. I cut most of them off. I should have done it sooner, but I don't know. It's just not my year for garlic here. But you can see it has one dried up leaf, two dried up leaves, three dried up leaves at the bottom, which means it should have a good skin down here. We'll see what kind of shape they're in. If you recall, I planted these June 1st, and this is a hard neck garlic. Normally you plant it in the fall. My garlic uh, crop didn't survive the winter this year, which is really odd. But when I planted it last year, we got a real heat wave after that, which isn't ideal. And it grew up quite a bit. And then we went instantly from like really hot temperatures to cold and a snowstorm that just covered it and kept it covered. And I just suspect that that just wasn't ideal for, for the garlic to grow. So I'm not expecting much from this harvest of garlic this year because it just hasn't had the ideal conditions, but at least will give me some. And we'll see. I'm still debating if I'm going to try and reuse some of these cloves to um, replant this year, which is what I usually do. These are just cloves that I had that I re planted in the spring uh, from my own garlic stash that I've harvested in past years. But I think I might just start with new garlic this year because it just seems like this hasn't had the best start to its life and just thinking maybe I need something better but we'll see what they look like when they come out so I'm gonna harvest this today I forgot to grab something to dig it out with and you don't really want to pull it out like I just did because you can break the bulb off my ground's pretty loose I don't think I would break them but I think I should go grab something just in case and then we'll try and get you a view in this jungle back here so you can see what I'm doing so I didn't plant a lot of garlic I wasn't sure how well it would grow anyways. That was rooted in there quite well. These I planted June 1st. I don't know if I said that yet. And I first, uh, because hard neck garlic needs a vernalization or a cold period, and I could see that my garlic wasn't looking that good coming up. So I did put these in the refrigerator I think for four to six weeks before before I uh, planted them so these are certainly not the biggest heads of garlic I've grown but they'll work They're all entangled with this squash So it looks like I missed a couple of scapes. I have a couple of seed heads. That's what the, the scapes are, is they're just long shoots that are put out with, they produce flowers and then they'll produce seed. But normally when you're planting garlic, you just take, separate a head into cloves and then you would plant the individual cloves still in their papery wrapper in the ground. That's a nice one.
one didn't do much. I don't even think it's split. I think it's just one head, one clove, basically. Okay, so these are a bit wet because I still need the water on back here for the squash. Okay, so here's the, the garlic that I grew. And I don't even know how many there are here. Let's see, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it looks like I planted a dozen. And they turned out not too bad, uh, considering they didn't have that ideal conditions of planting time. And this was old, old garlic, like I said, Normally I would plant my cloves, I would dig some of my garlic up and I would just set some of the largest cloves aside and those are what I would plant again like in a month or two when the, like near, near the end of the summer, early autumn and that's what I would use and I wound up taking some cloves from the year before that I had stored still that I was still using as eating garlic and I, like I said, I did put it in the refrigerator to try and vernalize it a little bit. And then I planted that um, early summer. So not ideal for what they usually have. So I think this is pretty decent. I still at least got a garlic harvest. So like I said, uh, the soil was quite damp. The, the irrigation ran this morning because I do still have squash and that growing in the bed along with the garlic. But if you were ready to harvest your garlic, you could turn your irrigation off for a week or so and let the soil dry out. The heads will come out drier. It doesn't really matter in the end because we're going to set these out to dry. That'll help to just kind of harden them off a little bit and make them store better for you. So I'm going to leave all these leaves on and I'm going to spread them out in a single layer so the heads aren't piled up like they are now and I'll just let them dry for a few days. Now we aren't going to be getting any rain in the forecast for a while. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna lay them out on a table uh, with a, like a mesh covering on it outside and just let them dry there. If you are going to be having rain, then you wanna find somewhere protected so that they're not getting rained on because obviously you're trying to get them to dry. And I'm just gonna let the greens um, dry off and once they've kind of dried up, that sent all the energy from the greens into the bulbs. It should have given the skin around the bulbs a nice chance to kind of dry out and kind of harden off so it's a good protective surface or coating on the, the head of garlic there. And then you can come in and cut off the stems. I like to leave a little bit. You can cut them right down, but I like to leave them a little bit. I don't know, I just find it easier to grab them out of the bucket and easier to open up in that later on when I want the cloves out and you can trim the roots right down tight to the end of the bulb too at that point brush off any dirt and then you just put them in a nice cool place out of light so I usually just throw them in a paper bag and uh, store them under my stairs in my basement but let's go get these laid out so that they can begin curing and drying out So I have a nice mesh top on here so I can just set these out. And you could also hang them if you have, like sometimes I use the wire racks that come with uh, like those temporary kind of greenhouse, plastic covered greenhouse shelters and you can just hang them upside down and they fit really nicely through those racks. But I don't have any of that shelving set up right now so I'm just gonna lay them out here. They'll get good air circulation. It's supposed to be really, smoky and overcast for the next few days so they shouldn't have too much direct sun beating down on them if they do then i might need to move them somewhere a little bit out of the sun but uh, garlic won't be terribly affected if the sun is shining on them anyways so you see how i've just i've put a row of heads down and I'm just gonna make the next row so they're not piled right up. It just gives more air cir circulation around the head. It'll help them dry out better.
and those couple that still have the escapes attached, I'm going to cut these off so they're not sending any energy out to the escapes. Now that little job is done, all I need to do is wait probably a week usually for the garlic to dry out. And like I said, I'll have to keep an eye on the weather. If it's going to be really, really hot and sunny uh, with strong sun, then I'll probably want to take these somewhere where they're not sitting out in the direct sun all day long. And I want to make sure that it's not going to rain on them. But from the forecast, the looks of things, I, I don't think there's a worry of that. So we'll give them about a week to dry out here. And once these uh, leaves here have all started to brown off and get kind of crunchy, then I'll know it's right time to go and cut them back. So I'll just give them a cut here and a cut here uh, to just trim the roots and the stems off and then I can store them. I think I have a good video on that. If I do, I'll put a link in the description down below so you can check that out if you want to know more about storing your garlic. And hopefully if you've forgotten your, about your garlic like me, this is a good reminder to get out there and uh, check on it and harvest it. So if it's, you know, has three to four leaves dried off at the bottom here, that's your sign it's time to get harvesting. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.